Hi everybody, it's Mr. Giles. Today we're gonna to talk about how to get text behind an image. So, we're gonna start with a picture of Chuck Norris. Um, we're gonna get the biggest version of the picture we can find, and I'm going to right click and copy image. There's lots of ways you can get your image in. You do it however you wanna do it. I'm gonna do it this way, and then I'm gonna hit Control V, paste, um, I'm going to go ahead and expand the canvas. If it doesn't ask you to expand the canvas and it's smaller than your canvas, then you can stretch it out. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have text behind Chuck Norris's head. So step one is I'm actually going to duplicate. There's a little button right here. It's a duplicate layer. It's at the bottom of the layers menu. And if you don't see your layers menu, you need to turn it on right here or press F7 at the top of your Windows keyboard. And um, I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to get a whole nother layer of Chuck Norris. Now, on this layer, I'm going to do this very quickly, but I'm going to use the lasso tool. Um, and I'm going to just go around his finger, which is sticking up. So I think it might be cool to have something behind that. And then I'm going to go to his head. And I'm just going to just do, I'm not doing this as close as I can right now. Uh, and I'm going to go back up like this. Oops. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's see. Delete. Oh, let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do, except I didn't want to chop off his finger. So I'm going to try that again. I'm going to go up, around the finger, and back out like that. So I'm going to delete everything but the finger, if that makes sense. I'm going to highlight and get as much this out as I can. I'm going to do the same thing around his head. I'm going to sort of go around here and then I'm going to go back out like this so that everything that's inside my selection is going to get deleted. Now you can do a more specific job, erase, clean up. I'm going to just kind of get as much in this area as I can. Just get rid of all that. I like this as kind of a fun tool. Um, I'm going to go back up and over. I'm going to keep doing this until I've cleaned up just around his head. And what I'm doing this for is so that I can then put stuff behind him. Now, this is on this layer, okay? I'll get rid of the rest of that. And then on the bottom layer, we have the original picture. So it looks like when I turn this layer on and off, you really can't see any difference. But what you're about to see is I'm gonna put a layer between these two layers, and I'm gonna write a word, and you're gonna see it appear behind his head. I'm gonna make that really big. I'm gonna make it a nice thick font and I'm gonna make it really large. And there you go. I'm gonna not place it like totally behind it because you think you can't read it, but I'm gonna put it so that the effect of it being kind of behind is clear. Now you can see, I can zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in on this. I'm gonna select the layer that Chuck is on here. See if I turn it off, it's not behind anymore. I turn it back on. I'm going to go to this layer and I'm going to zoom in on this spot because I want this illusion to be a little better. So I'm going to use my eraser tool. I'm going to, it's going to be very small, maybe five here. And I'm going to erase as close to his head so that it gives the effect that these words are behind his head. That's what I really want. Same with the finger. I'm going to get really close. I'm going to zoom in and just kind of get it as close to that as I can so that it appears really like more like it's going behind uh, the finger right there. Okay, so now I'll zoom back out. And then I will move it just a little bit more. Oh, wrong layer, move the text layer, there we go. And that gives the, like that illusion that you have stuff behind the uh, person in the picture. So it's like you, they did in the picture. Now, it's a lot easier if you use, so I'm gonna do the uh, kind of an easier, that's, that's the trickier version. And that didn't take too long. You can do this with a PNG. So if I find a PNG image, I just search for Chuck Norris Awesome PNG, and I'm gonna take this thumbs up um, one, and I'm gonna right click and copy image. I'm going to go File, New, and I'm going to say OK to whatever size it says. I'm going to paste it, and um, 
this isn't actually a PNG. It's got the checkerboard background, but it's like the checkerboard background came with the picture. So I'm gonna magic wand the checkerboard out. Um, I'm gonna change the tolerance down a little bit and I'm gonna hit delete. Now when I see these tiny checkerboards, I know that I have him and I, I can just determine this by putting a layer, fill it with a solid color and put it behind him. There we go. Now I just add my text. See, it's a lot easier when it's already a PNG because um, there's not much to do. And I'm gonna change that text color to another color like black. Chuck approves. And uh, maybe make that a little bit smaller so that it's not so ginormous. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Whoops. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull Chuck down a little bit because he's on his own layer. See this? I can just get the blue arrow. I'm gonna put him right there so that the approves is just behind his head. It gives that illusion. I could do something cooler with the background, do like a, a cooler looking background, but there's how you add text behind an image. Have fun with that.